Tonight, the downtown Albuquerque community is slowly coming to terms with the profound loss. The National Institute of Flamenco Dance was gutted by flames this afternoon, leaving the only dance school of its kind in the entire country without a home. Oh, I didn't believe it. I was like, that's not true. It was just so heartbreaking. It was just really sad. It was really a devastation. Flamenco for me now is uh, what my visions were as a young person and what flamenco was to me then have changed um, significantly. I feel like if you give 100% to flamenco then it will give you everything back. Studying flamenco, creating within the realms of flamenco is very much a part of, of my identity and what I, I have to do every day to fulfill a part of me. You can't do it and, and continue to be afraid or to sort of focus on your weaknesses. You have to really muster a lot of strength to give it its due diligence. Different people have different things to offer and they all fit into the realm of flamenco. It's, it's not about just dancing, you know, or playing guitar or singing that, you know, that makes flamenco what it is. It starts from within and everybody has that. You know, once you've been touched by flamenco, it never goes away. I mean, I'm, I'm always going to be in love with it. We do flamenco because we have to. Sometimes we're not even sure it's because we always want to, but it's because we have to. Flamenco just is, and it happens um, every day. It's such a collaboration, and how you play with each other or how you respond to each other is what makes the art so beautiful. I think we're gonna see people, humans, starting to reach their real potential. And God, I think flamenco might be the gasoline behind it. And that's exciting. Flamenco, in my case, is life, it's everyday life. So, as long as I'm breathing, I'll be doing flamenco.